Kellyanne Mullen, a 48-year-old menopausal woman. <laughs> uh, I decided to start a juice feast, a 90-day juice feast. Day 10, and I'm feeling good. But how I came to this journey, I started raw vegan a little over a year and a half ago. I uh, lost weight. Over the past few years, I've actually lost about 75 pounds. So, this was my last, you know, get that last dog. Get it tight. Work out. Feel good. Clean the body. Become a machine. So, I thought, juice feast. So, um, I was having a little more intestinal trouble, you know, and if this is the way to do it. I experimented with some recipes through the month. Uh, half juice, half food before I started my solid juice feast. I'm feeling really good about it. The energy's up. Uh, feeling a lot leaner. Let's hope I get a little more leaner. My top weight was 230 pounds. Um, and, uh, you know, some people think, oh, you overeat, you're lazy. You know what I did? I ate wrong and I worked too hard. My hormones were wrecked. Everything was breaking down. I actually work less now and pay more attention to myself. I work out. I take time to eat healthy. Uh, I take time for positive thinking. <laughs> and not all about the next chore I need to get done. Um, I lost quite a bit of weight, and then I started on the raw food, vegan raw food, and lost even more weight. I started the Juice Feast 10 days ago at 160 pounds. Now, uh, 10 days later, I'm 155. My goal is 125. They say after 90 days, you may get slightly underweight, and then you can slowly come back up to a healthy balance. Some of the things I've run into have been trying to create my own recipes. That was a little bit of a mistake on my part. I'm not a cook, never been a cook. Hired a chef to help me transition into raw. So, uh, I needed to stay away from that. I just follow some of the information that I've received. Uh, that I've purchased books, got online, YouTube information's been great, um, and I'm feeling, actually, once the withdrawal of the first week was over, I'm feeling really, really energetic, you know, just pop up, ready to go, work out, come to work, work all day, go home, straighten up the house, relaxation is easier, sleep is easier. I will say I probably don't need quite as much sleep now that the withdrawal's over. The first part of the withdrawal, I could have slept all day. But what I, what I was withdrawing from, I'm not really sure if it was detox or what, but I do feel better now. Some of the social aspects, I avoided the first week or so. Now I'm starting to be able to interact. I take my drink with me. I might have a little herbs tea if that's, you know, available or a little warm water with lemon. And that has really helped me get through some of the social aspects.